Okay, so if you can hear the soft sounds of chainsaw noise, it's because my young video guy, Sam, who you guys uh, know is the editor for the online school that I have, which, speaking of which, uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but um, he is actually a, a great young carver and he's working on a chainsaw carving right now uh, for a church competition, art competition. And uh, we're gonna go take a peek and uh, yeah, encourage him, maybe give him some feedback potentially. We'll see if he has any questions or thoughts. I just thought if I'm going over there to give him a hand, might as well film it and see what there is to learn. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, he's all the way out here. Yo, this thing is looking and smelling good. You can't smell it right now because you've got that on, but now you can. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good. You're carving stuff. Good observation. You did, in fact, steal my tripod. And, and your I mask. I spent about 15 minutes looking for that, but I've got it now, right here. So the first thing I wanted to point out is there's a big flat area where the face uh, should be. Don't do that. The other problem is it's dirty back here. <laughs> no, this looks really good. I like that you use, because the piece of wood that we had had like a lip here, right? Like an edge. And so you use that to actually suit the carving. So the trick is to uh, fit that in such a way to where it actually isn't like perfectly flat. But all you'll have to do is either like recess the base or the, t or the back to get it to either cut uh, an angle forward or back. So this chainsaw is not self-oiling. So when you push this button down, um, it actually opens up a gate and it oils the chain. So you want to do that. Okay, so this is an older chainsaw. And if your chainsaw doesn't have a very obvious kind of button to push, um, or that isn't the choke, most likely it's going to be self-oiling. And so this is not necessarily relevant for everyone else. Sam didn't know, not a big deal. And so it's a learning lesson. Like every two minutes okay. of use, so every minute That's and a half or so, yeah. So one to two minutes. You know that uh, it's not getting enough oil if when you hold up the saw to the wood, it's not spitting. See how there's no residual oil on the piece? You want it to actually spit. So it may be that there's actually no oil in the chamber. Yeah, and that's the case. So we need to put oil in the chamber. Because what happens is if you burn this thing out, the uh, the track that this thing travels on will actually splay and the, the bar can separate if it's not a solid bar. Or in some cases, this edge will just wear off and you have to get a new bar. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of expensive. So okay. you want to make sure to keep the thing oiled. Sounds good. So we'll do that. We'll get some oil and we'll be right back. All right, so I've got bar and chain oil. I've heard of people using like vegetable oil and other types of... Uh, organic oils um, but yeah these ones these petroleum based ones are not as good on the environment and uh, there are better alternatives I've yet to try them but uh, I've heard good things let's see if I can get any of it in there there it is <laughs> that was painful that's why we use a funnel yeah one way or have energy the other thing is when you're pouring you're actually supposed to pour like geese, mm. apparently. This will actually like uh, stop that from blugging from happening. Mm. It'll, like, cool. it'll like vent it. Okay, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, by the way, Annalise, my wife, and then Sam, the young carver slash video guy for FOW. Uh, FOW is basically an online school where I've compiled um, like over 80 lessons over the past three years. So three years worth of content and lessons. Um, basically you get access to it for like less than the cost of one in-person class. It's, it's not like I'm charging thousands of dollars like some of these instructors are. So it's uh, very accessible, very affordable, and it's linked below. The link didn't work before, now it works. Anyway, thanks to Sam for doing the hard work of making the content along with Matt, our new video and editing guy. 
and Annalise for supporting me and coming up with ideas. Thanks.